This is going to be part one of washing the BMW E46 um, engine bay. Um, on the engine we have, on the engine, in the engine bay we have an M54 um, in line six. Um, and the problem I've been having with this, with this engine lately, it's been leaking oil. Um, I had the valve cover gasket replaced a few weeks ago. Um, and I noticed it's still leaking oil. Um, as you can see on the ground where the car is usually parked. Uh, this morning is a fresh spot of oil and all this is like oil leaking within the last couple of days um, and I've replaced it about two weeks ago but I don't always park the car here so this week today's Thursday I've been parked the car's been parked here since Monday and all that is like just leaking oil leaking um, I removed the splash shield and as you can see some of the oil is dried up um, in the sun because I removed this a while ago, but it was like it's like an ocean of oil on that thing. Um, I'm not sure if that's old oil from before when the cover was leaking or if it's new. Um, as you can see, there's two new spots there from when I took the shield out. Um, it looks like the oil is leaking on the side, on the passenger side, right above the AC compressor, because the AC compressor is actually covered with oil. And along this thing is a bit of oil there too. And when oil leaks off the valve cover gasket on the M54, the BMW 3 Series, you could smell it because it burns off the um, the uh, headers right there under the engine bay, which is really hot when you're driving, accelerating. So oil leaks from here onto that and kind of burns off in like a white smoke. You'll see I either see a white smoke or smell like oil burning inside your car. Um, but the problem is I still have another, maybe another oil leak, or maybe the valve cover gasket wasn't seated correctly. And you can see there's a little bit of leakage in there. And I'm going to just uh, spray some of my degreaser. And then I'm going to lightly hose it down. Um, and hopefully that will uh, get everything cleaned out and I can see maybe where the leak is. Um, but the, I noticed on the internet there's hardly any information on washing an engine bay. And there's a couple of videos, actually the most popular one I saw is a guy literally just like, he takes this can and, and sprays the entire thing down and um, and just hoses everything off, like with a high powered hose and he gets in the car and starts it up and it starts okay. Um, I'm not sure if all cars are created like that, that, I think the video that guy had was a Jeep Cherokee or something and I think SUVs are designed maybe a little different, off-road vehicles are designed, so maybe the engine bay stuff in the engine bay could get wet easily and the car will still be okay um, but as you can see just to take precautions I covered my alternator uh, my air filter um, I removed the air filter box to get access to this area and I covered the um, the intake tube that goes into the um, engine so water doesn't get into the engine if water um, particles get get in there I covered it double covered this because it's very important the alternator I think it's fine I've seen alternators get hosed down before and you know, the vehicle starts right after, um, um, but I still covered mine just in case because I've had a replacement alternator before and it's it's not pretty. Um, I removed the fan. You don't have to, but I removed my engine fan and my shroud, which covers all of this, just to get access to um, to the AC compressor, which is down there. You probably can't see it because of the sun. Um, just to get access there because there's a lot of oil just pulling up on, on top of that. I don't want to get the holes right in there so I don't get any unnecessary, unnecessary areas in the bay wet. Um, and that's the passenger side of the engine bay. And as you can see the engine is fairly clean, it's just I have leakage in front and along the passenger side. And also you can see my power steering, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hose this down because this is, um, I don't know if it's leaking or if it's leaked before, but it's just encrusted in, um, in stuff. It's like. <laughs> It's really thick on there, so I'm going to spray that down too with the greaser and um, hose it down. Um, but this is how you kind of want to prep your engine on the BMW E46, um, the M54 engine. Um, it applies to the 5 Series and I think um, the Z3 and the X3 um, have the same engine and maybe the X5, I think, the 3.0 X5, the early, earlier models. So you just want to cover these important parts. Um, I noticed some videos mention a distributor cap and um, spark plugs but that's pretty much all covered up already and like I said if you wash in a bay you know 
you could hold over here once the alternator and the air um, intake tube is covered. And also covered some other connectors here. This was for, I think, the fan, electrical connector. And there's a sensor. I, I removed also the, um, I removed this thing, which is the um, washer flu fluid tank, just to get access in there, because there's a lot of oil in there. I removed that, and it had a sensor, an electrical sensor, I think, that goes into the coolant. I didn't want to get that wet. I didn't want to get damaged, actually. Um, my positive terminal is covered. I might actually put um, something else in there because it's, it's not, I don't know how secure that is. Um, and like, I'm using aluminum foil to cover all my stuff. Um, simply because I can find Ziploc bags or saran wrap. Um, and aluminum is pretty good. I'm not using a high powered hose. The hose I'm going to use is, um, I don't know if you can see it, it's about that. It's not high powered. You can see it's not it's not gonna be high powered at all. And um and that's it. That's part one. I'm gonna do another part while I was in Washington.